Good day everyone, welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about identifying the types of systems of linear equations. We can identify the types of system of linear equation using their graph. In graphing systems of linear equations, we can encounter the following. We can have the intersecting lines, parallel lines, or coinciding lines. Now, instead of graphing our systems of linear equation because it is going to be time-consuming, to avoid that, let's use an alternative method of identifying the type of graph or the type of system of linear equation. So, we use analytical method. So, for analytical method, in classifying the type of system of linear equation, we must write our equation in slope-intercept form or in standard form. And we're going to compare for standard form the ratio of our a, b, and c. And for our slope-intercept form, we will compare our slopes and our y-intercept. Now, let's talk about having an intersecting line. So, by just looking at your equation, you can identify that you're going to have an intersecting line by looking at the ratio of our a and b. So, if our ratio of a and b is not equal, then we will have our intersecting line. Now, if your system is written in slope-intercept form, we will compare the slope and the y-intercept. So, our slope should not be equal. So, the slope of the first equation should not be equal to the slope of our second equation. So, we can now conclude that we will have an intersecting line. Now, if we have an intersecting line, we can expect that we have one solution. Now, the type of system that we're going to have will be an independent system. Now, let's talk about parallel lines. Now, how do we identify if our given system of linear equation will form a parallel lines? First, we need to rewrite our equations to either standard form or to slope-intercept form. Now, if it is written in standard form, our clue will be getting the ratio of our a, b, and c. So, take note that our ratio of a will be equal to the ratio of b but not equal to the ratio of c. If this is the case, we will have parallel lines. Okay. Now, if your equations are written in slope-intercept form, we will just compare the slopes and the y-intercept. So, if our slope will be equal, the slope of line 1 is equal to the slope of line 2, and their intercepts are not equal, then we can conclude that we will have parallel lines. So, the number of solutions for parallel lines, we will have no solution because we don't have any point of intersection. Now, the type of system that we can classify this, it will be an inconsistent system. And last one, if you want to um, identify using analytic method, if our given system is coinciding lines, we must first rewrite our equation to either standard form or slope-intercept form. So if it is written in standard form, we must get the ratio of our a, b, and c. So the ratios of a, b, and c must be equal or should be equal in order for us to conclude that we're going to have a coinciding lines. Okay? If it is written in slope-intercept form, we must compare the slopes and the y-intercept. So, our clue will be if the slope of line 1 is equal to the slope of line 2 and their y-intercept are also equal, we can conclude that we will have a coinciding line. So, the number of solutions that we're going to have for coinciding lines is infinite solution because they overlap and it is like the same or we will have identical lines. Their point of intersection will be the points along the line. This type of system will be classified as dependent system. Okay? Now, let's have some examples in identifying the systems of linear equation using analytical method. Okay, right, let's have an example in identifying types of systems of linear equation. So, for example, we have this system of linear equation, 3x minus 5y is equal to 10, and 2x minus 4y is equal to 20. Since this system of linear equation is already in standard form, we will use the analytical method in identifying the system 
if it is written in standard form. So we are going to compare the ratio of our A, B, and C. So let's identify our A sub 1, B sub 1, C sub 1, and A sub 2, B sub 2, and C sub 2. Okay? So looking at our equation, we will have the following fractions. We have 3 over 2 for A. For B, we have negative 5 over negative 4. And for C, we have 10 over 20. Now let's, now let's simplify. We will have 3 over 2. 5 over 4 and 1 half. And let's compare each ratio if they are equal or not. So our A and B, they are not equal. And for B and C, they are also not equal. Therefore, our system will be independent. So we are expecting to have an intersecting line with one solution. Alright, okay, let's have another example. So for example, we're going to identify the type of system of linear equation of... 6x minus 9y is equal to 12 and 4x minus 6y is equal to 8. Now, since this is written in standard form, we're going to apply the analytical method for standard form. We will identify the ratio of our a, b, and c. So let's identify our a sub 1, b sub 1, c sub 1, a sub 2, b sub 2, and c sub 2. Now, let's write it in our um, fraction form we have 6 over 4 for our a for our b we have negative 9 over negative 6 and for our c we have 12 over 8 let's simplify if possible so we will have 3 over 2 for a for b it will also be 3 over 2 and for c it is also 3 over 2 now let's compare if they are equal or not so the ratio of a and b they are equal B and C, they are also equal. So, the type of system of linear equation will be dependent. Okay. So, we are expecting to have coinciding lines with an infinite solution. Alright. Let's have another example. So, for example, we will identify the type of system of this linear equation. So, we have negative x plus 3y is equal to 2 and 2x minus 6y is equal to 4. So, since our system of linear equation is written in standard form, we will identify our system by comparing the ratios of a, b, and c. So, we need to identify the values of our a sub 1, b sub 1, c sub 1, a sub 2, b sub 2, and c sub 2. And we're going to get the ratio. So for a, we have negative 1 over 2. For b, we have 3 over negative 6. And for c, we have 2 over 4. Now let's simplify each fraction. We have negative 1 half. We also have negative 1 half for b. And for c, we have 1 half. Now let's compare our ratio so for a and b they are equal and for b and c they are not equal now having this pattern we will have or we can identify our system being inconsistent so we're expecting to have a parallel line and we will not have any solution all right let's have another example so for example we're going to identify the types of system of linear equation given y is equal to 5x minus 5 and y is equal to 3x plus 5. Observing our system, it is written in slope-intercept form. Therefore, we are going to compare our slopes and y-intercepts. So, we will identify our m sub 1 and m sub 2, b sub 1 and b sub 2. The slope of our first equation is 5 and the slope of our second equation is 3. So the y-intercept of our first equation is negative 5 and our y-intercept for our second equation is 5. Let's compare our slope. They are not equal for our first and second equation and our intercept they are also not equal therefore we will have a type of system that is independent we are expecting to have an intersecting line with one solution all right okay let's have our last example for today so for example we're going to identify the type of system of linear equation given this system so we have y is equal to negative two-thirds x and y is equal to negative two-thirds x plus two so since our 
system of linear equation is written in slope-intercept form, we will compare the slopes and the y-intercept. So we will get the slope of our equation number 1, equation number 2, and our y-intercept of equation number 1 and equation number 2. So let's identify their slope by copying the numerical coefficient of our x. So for our first equation, we have negative two-thirds and our second equation is also negative two-thirds our y-intercept for our first equation since we don't have any constant it will be zero and for our second equation the y-intercept of our second equation is two now let's compare our slope and y-intercept so looking at our slopes they are equal and our y-intercept they are not equal Looking at this um, comparison, we will now conclude that our system will be an inconsistent system. So we are expecting to have a parallel line with no solution. Now that you already know how to identify the types of systems of linear equations, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace!